Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you all the optimizations that your PC needs in order to run at its peak performance. This is how my PC works after the optimizations, this is how it worked before on my old low to mid PC, basically it worked way better after optimizing everything. Also I recommend having these in your build for very good FPS or these as a minimum requirement. Anything lower can be improved in FPS wise but don't expect it to go from 20 FPS with frame drops to 100 fps without any let's be realistic before starting i chose a winner for giveaway he didn't come i chose another one fake one came got banned caught red handed busting out nowhere but the real one didn't dm me so i chose the third one who actually messaged me and well we spoke for half an hour but in the end he got his gold congratulate him in the comments I'll do a giveaway another day when I guess Batman wakes up and gives me a shitload of money. So let's get on with our prime mythical ultra sonic optimizations. Firstly, let's begin with the Windows optimizations. We need to go to the Windows settings, to system, notifications and actions. Turn this one on, uncheck all these boxes and turn this one off. Go to focus assist, priority only and deactivate everything right here. You don't want Windows to get in your way. Go to power and sleep, additional power settings. So let's go on high performance, change advanced power settings. We have this on zero, internet on maximum performance, this on available, this on maximum performance, as you can see right here. Right here you have your GPU on off processor power management. This is very important, test this out. I tested it, it's way better on 100% the minimum, but you can set it to 99% to be completely sure that you don't get any crashes in your games. Maximum processor state 100 and you can see this one too. Then press apply and OK. And then in power options you will have that high performance thing and you need to select it. Then you close this. Go back, go to devices, to mouse. This is an additional setting for mouses. So we are going on pointer options and we need to set it to six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Press apply and then OK. This is to make your mouse faster, basically. If you have a low-end PC, you can use this. It actually gives you a little performance boost. So go to personalization, background, and set it to a solid color that is black. I'm going to set it back because I don't really need that. And now let's go to gaming. Turn everything off right here. You don't need anything from here. Captures to game mode on. If you don't have an integrated GPU from your processor, if you don't have a GPU, you you can test this on off if you get less performance get back to it and turn it on then go to graphics settings turn this one on you will have desktop apps browse them go to program files if you have bluestack 4 nxt if you have bluestack 5 this is the one then you search for hd agent and press on add i already have it right here as you can see from bluestack 4 and i have it for bluestack 5 right here and you need to set both of those on high performance then you go back to apps right here on apps and features you need to uninstall every single app that you don't need on your pc i have only the apps i need so i don't need to uninstall anything but basically every app that is on your pc gives you bloatware by having more space unavailable for your games or your shader cache go to startup disable everything except for your processor your internet and the windows security notification then go back, go to privacy. I would like to deactivate everything right here. I don't need Windows to have my data. Then go back and then you can close this. Now let's move into next settings. Type MS config. You will see this one pop up. Open this, boot, advanced options, select number of processor and put the max right here. I have 16 threads. I put it on 16 Then press OK, apply, OK. Now type adjust appearance. I like to have show shadows and the other options checked, only these three, but if you have a low end PC, you can adjust it for best performance and basically every single one of the boxes will be deactivated. Then press apply and okay. I don't need the settings, so press on cancel. Then press right click right here task manager startup disable everything it's the same one like we had right here on apps and on startup but it's more advanced then close this type run 
and right here we will type multiple commands. The commands are prefetch, delete everything right here, close, run again, type temp, delete everything, control plus A, right click delete, and uh, some of the files won't uninstall, so you can skip them. Then press on X, type run again, percent, temp, percent. These two are different. Then enter, control plus A, right click delete, and every single app or every single file that doesn't uninstall, you can keep them right there because are in use for your PC. Then you can close this, but before closing it, you can do this thing because you need to do all these commands in a run at least once a week. I do them daily, you can do whatever you want, but in order to make the process faster and not type every single command, get this on your desktop and create a link. I have them right here. Here. Now you can empty your recycle bin. Now we have additional GPU settings, including integrated GPUs on processors. I will leave you a link down below, a media file link, and you can enter right there and install them. You will have two RAR files. You need to open MSI with administrator. Press yes, and then you have right here your GPU, check this box and put it on high. Please don't play around right here and put everything on high, you don't need those. Press apply and then exit. On Nvidia Profile Inspector I'm going to show you later the settings. Before that let's go and see the best settings for Nvidia. Press right click on your desktop, Nvidia Control Panel. Wait for it to show up, then disable anything related to G-Sync on both of your monitors if you have more. Go to manage 3D settings, after that do all these things the same as I have. As you can see some of the settings are custom or application controlled. You will see them in Nvidia Profile Inspector, that is the application that controls them. Right now. We are going to open the NVIDIA Profile Inspector and right here we need to set the exact things that I tell you. This one on off, disallow, disallow, this one on highest available for your monitor, force vSync off, off and standard. Predefined by NVIDIA disallowed, make sure everything is right here the same, then go down, you should have this on clamp and high performance. Could a pit you state, turn this off, it's a power saving mode, you don't need that. Power management mode, prefer maximum performance, unlimited cache size and the shade cache is storing the graphics of the game so basically you don't have frame drops next time then you turn this on and on then search for memory allocation policy and select it on moderate then you can press apply changes i already did that and exit now i will show you the best internet settings we are going to type right here device manager we are going to look for network adapters here is my main router it's always the longest name press right click properties go on advanced energy efficient ethernet disable power saving mode disable speed and duplex on auto negotiation then press ok and go to power management check this thing uncheck this and then uncheck both of those then press ok by the way you need to install the latest drivers on your internet so for me i'm going on real tech site and i'm installing the last update that's it for this video hope your pc is better and hope that you have more stable fps keep in mind that you can always ask me questions freely or speak to me on my discord server the link is below see ya into the next one Thank <laughs> you.